All right, then. Your name is Jordan James. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Good morning. I'm here for the job interview. I see. I shall ask you a few questions to see if you qualify, okay? Of course, sir. I'm very motivated to get this job. We can start now. All right. Let's see. Could you tell me about yourself and describe your background in brief? Well, I come from a small town where opportunities were limited. Since good schools were a rarity, I started using online learning to stay up to date with the best. I had to do that. That's where I learned to code and then I went on to get my certification as a computer programmer. After I got my first job as a front-end coder, I continued to invest time in mastering front and back end languages, tools, and frameworks, and many other things. As you can see, I did not go to the best college, but I studied hard to get good knowledge. I like investigating by myself. I usually read blogs and search online courses. I think that's good. I forgot to ask you at the beginning. How did you hear about this position? I learned about the position through LinkedIn as I have been following your company's page for a while now. I am really passionate about the work you are doing in the programming area. So I was excited to apply. The required skills match well with the skills I have, sir. And it seems like a great opportunity for me to contribute to your mission, as well as a great next move for my career. I see. I need to ask you, what type of work environment do you prefer? Because here we like to work as a team. We try to help each other all the time. But also you can get a lot of pressure because we are constantly launching new projects. That sounds great to me. I like fast-paced work environments. I am used to it. Because they make me feel like I am always learning and growing. It's fantastic. I feel I really thrive when I am collaborating with team members and helping people. My last internship was at an organization with a similar culture, and I really enjoyed that balance. Well, once I told you that, I need to know, how do you deal with pressure or stressful situations? Well, something I have to tell you is that I realize stressful situations are always going to come up. And I definitely have had to learn how to navigate them throughout my career. I think I get better at it with every new experience. And that's interesting. Hmm. While working on a new product launch at my last company, for example, Things were not going according to plan with my team. It was a difficult time for us. But let me tell you that instead of pointing fingers, my first reaction was to take a step back and figure out some strategies on how we could solve the problem at hand. Being calm was definitely a step forward and helped me approach the situation with more clarity. When you are balancing multiple projects, how do you keep yourself organized? I was used to juggling projects at my last job where I was often moving between coding one software program to another. 
I use the time boxing technique to make sure they are all on track. Allocating time on my calendar for certain tasks. For example, on Monday, only software, and so on. I have found it really helps me prioritize what needs to get done first. And it holds me accountable for the more repetitive day-to-day -day tasks I'm responsible for. Of course I have also tried other methods to be organized. For example, some apps. But I will always look for the best option to do my job better. That's for sure. Tell me something. What did you do in the last year to improve your knowledge? The extra time I had really allowed me to get introspective around where I want to take my career. I read a lot of journals to keep abreast of the latest ideas in my field. I read them every day. Also, I sharpen my skills by taking some online courses, such as coding, Excel, French. And not only that. I also traveled to Spain for a programming conference. There. I could learn a lot about new programming methods and many other things. Okay, then. I need you to tell me, what are your salary expectations? Based on my skills and experience and on the current industry rates, I must say. I'm looking at a salary around two to three thousand dollars approximately. Obviously, we can negotiate that amount of money and also the bonuses and so on. All right. I will take note of that. Don't worry. Are you applying for other jobs? I have applied to a couple of other firms, but this role is really the one I am most excited about right now. As I told you before, I really love the way you manage your programming area. And also, I know this company is one of the most important in the city and country. From your resume, it seems you took a gap year. Would you like to tell me why that was? During my last year at my previous job, I felt I was not prepared to ask for a pay raise and promotion. So I took a course for a few months to learn new things that can help me get my goals. It may seem a little random, but the time I spent actually helped me develop so many new skills I have learned a lot in the areas of leadership, communication, programming. During that time, I realized that I wanted to get a better job. More challenging. A job that can help me grow professionally and where I can learn a lot of new things. Then, I decided to apply for a new job position and here I am. I feel ready now, sir. Perfect. Tell me. Is there anything else you would like us to know? No, sir. I think we have covered most of it, but just to summarize, it sounds like you're looking for someone who can really hit the ground running. And with my previous experience in programming, I think I would be a great fit. All right, then. I think that's all. Do you have any questions for us? Yes, I have a question. What can you tell me about your new projects or plans for growth? That's an interesting question. Recently, we have signed one of the biggest companies' contracts. And we will have to open new branch offices around the world because of that. That's why we are looking for experienced people. To start with this new big project, Fantastic. 
I can start tomorrow if you think I'm the one for this job. I will keep it in mind. Well, I think that's all. We will call you to give you an answer. Thank you so much for coming to this interview and I hope you have a good day. No, thank you for your time. It was a pleasure to meet you.